I, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 version 22H2 and version 23H2 in the release preview channel, which uh, made its way uh, into um, release preview on the 19th of August, which was late yesterday in my part of the world. Now, your release preview channel, as you may well know, is uh, the last insider channel before it makes its way to stable. So because it started rolling out um, yesterday in my part of the world, uh, we are expecting to see that roll out for Windows 11 officially to the general public next week, Tuesday the 27th. And that's our next optional update, KB5041587. And if you do decide to install the update, because it will be optional, for Windows 11 uh, 22H2, the OS build will be bumped up to 2261.4108. And for 23H2, that will be 2261.4108. Now, we do get um, one new feature, and it's on a gradual rollout with a couple of um, improvements uh, to key areas of the operating system. So what's gradually rolling out, first of all, is you can now share content to your Android device from the Windows Share window. So Microsoft says to do this, you must pair your Android device to your Windows PC, and then you use the link to Windows app on your Android device and your phone link on your PC. So that's a new feature that will be rolling out using a gradual rollout, which means you may see it, you may not, when it makes its way to stable. And then the File Explorer, once again, has received a bit of attention from Microsoft, which is always a good thing. And it gets five improvements. And out of the five, three of those are for screen readers. So when you press the Windows logo key and E, a screen reader might say a pane has focus or the focus not, might not be set at all. So that's been addressed. That's a fix for that. And then screen readers do not announce when you open or browse items that are in a breadcrumb of the open or save dialog. So that's the second screen reader fix. And then the third screen reader fix is that uh, screen readers do not announce when you open or browse items in the column header. So obviously a couple of issues there with screen readers on Windows 11. And then um, the next one is when you press Control and F. So if you, unless you don't know, if you press Control and F, it pops the search open for you to start searching in File Explorer. And then the fix is that when you press Control and F, sometimes the search does not start. I'm not experiencing that issue, but nonetheless, Control and F, if you were experiencing that issue, that'll be fixed in our next optional update. And then keyboard focus sometimes might get lost when you press, press Shift and Tab. So Shift and Tab, and then obviously you can move up those File Explorer and move through those File Explorer items and navigate through the File Explorer. So um, that's a fix where that could get lost when you press Shift and Tab. So five improvements for the File Explorer. And then we get two accessibility improvements. And Microsoft has been focusing on the accessibility side of the OS uh, in recent updates, which I always say is a good thing. So the first is for Narrator. Um, the update makes scan mode respond quicker. Is, this is especially helpful, Microsoft says, when you use Microsoft Edge and read large documents. And then the next accessibility fix rolling out an improvement is for voice access, where you can now dictate the characters that you spell at a faster speed. And Microsoft says you also have more editing options for the commands that select, delete, and move within text. So narrator and voice access and both accessibility features get a bit of um, attention from Microsoft in this update. Now, for the normal rollout, and um, because this is a non-security bug fix update, we get eight bug fixes that have rolled out. So um, these everyone should see when the update rolls out next week. And I'm just going to go through four of the eight. Um, these may, may, be, may be of interest to the average home user. Apparently, there is a memory leak with the input method editor, IME, um, so that's been patched, so that's a bit of a performance uh, boost. Um, there's a Bluetooth fix where um, external devices were losing their connection. And then once again, uh, for the File Explorer, uh, the navigation pane 
uh, does not update when you browse folders that are in a shell namespace extension. And then they fixed a stop error, which is a blue screen of death, and which is always a good thing. And it's regarding Hibernate. So your laptop stops responding after you resume it from Hibernate. This occurred, Microsoft says, if you have closed and opened the lid many times. So if you open and close your lid using Hibernate many times, that blue screen of death stop error has also been addressed, which I always say is a good thing. And guys, that's more or less what we can expect to see roll out in our next optional bug fix series update next week, KB5041587. And I think uh, we're not getting too many new features, only that one new feature for this update, because obviously um, in a month's time, Microsoft is going to start rolling out, um, should start rolling out our next annual feature update, Windows 11 24H2. So obviously a lot of focus is moving towards that. And uh, when the update becomes available next week uh, for this latest optional update, obviously I'll post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.